Hello and welcome to this uh, simple walkthrough of designing streets in City Engine. Uh, first of all, some quick navigation tips. Um, hold Alt on your keyboard and right left click on your mouse to rotate, like so, and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, in addition to these above navigation tools. Okay, so first things first, um, sometimes what happens with City Engine is that what you'll see is that maybe there's holes. So let me just get this up. If I go to terrain, sometimes there's holes in the roads that um, that appear. For example, like so. Or if I go to a different example, like so. So to to remove these errors. What you can do is you can go to terrain over here and then go to scroll down and go to the elevation offset and perhaps uh, for this particular model of the Auckland waterfront, the CBD, uh, minus one works. As you can see the holes have now disappeared. Uh, this, is, this is perhaps because of the terrain is poking through the roads, it's intruding into the roads. Um, this is despite uh, the the roads being aligned to the terrain, but there's somehow uh, um, City Engine still brings up this error. Uh, so that's this is the current fix we have figured out for uh, removing that error. Uh, if we do figure out a more um, accurate way of doing this, of aligning the streets uh, to the terrain, uh, we will let you know, but this is currently what we have figured out just using this elevation offset. Okay, um, yeah, that brings that also brings up the point that um, City Engine is, as you can see, it's it's a visualization tool. It's not 100% accurate in terms of terrain and buildings, but it gives you a good uh, visualization of how your development or your streets of your development could look like, and this is quite uh, this is quite beneficial for urban planners and urban designers. Okay, so first of all, before designing a street, uh, we have to go to File and go to Manage Azuri Lib and select all of these and make sure they are all updated. I have already updated them, but please make sure that it is. And then go to Help and go down to Download Tutorials and Examples. And click on the first one, Example Complete Streets. So this is one uh, project or folder that we want to download for our particular exercise today. So download. I'm going to stop it because I've already downloaded it. But on your navigator pane or panel, you should see Example Complete Streets like this. And what you want to do is go down, click on the down arrow, and go down to Rules, and then go down to Streets Complete. And so this is a particular rule set that we will apply to a piece, a section of road that we're going to redesign. So the the, the, the section of road, a segment of road that I'm going to redesign is Key Street, uh, just from, from here to around here, basically. So to select right left click and then drag to the left like so and so uh, the best way i figured out of how to redesign uh, roads is to delete the existing one that you get with the model so delete it as you can see we have two uh, basically nodes uh, to create a new street what you could do is you could go to the street creation tool click on it and then start from that center node and then end at the other node. There you go. So we have a basic structure for our segment of row that we're going to redesign. Click Escape to get out of the tool. And now go to the Edit tool. And now let's rearrange how this load could look like. So this yellow circle allows you to change the sort of direction of the road. So you can sort of change it like though to, to fit in more and on the other side as well. 
Okay, and these green handles allow you to uh, just visually drag out and uh, change the road width and the sidewalk width. So I'm going to change it right now. Just around here, we can change that a bit later, but just for now, that gives us a pretty good indication of how it may look like. Um, this side of Key Street, the sidewalk is much more bigger, so I'm going to make that a bit more bigger. So drag that out to there, and then drag this. Okay. Right. Cool. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to uh, drag on the complete street uh, rule set onto our segment of road. So click on it and just simply drag. Okay. All right. So first of all, we have to select the section of road that we want to redesign. So there we go. Selected and then drag onto it and you should see a orange line appear. Right, cool. Uh, let's get out of that, so I'll click on there. And now if we click on the road, so not the sidewalk, just the road, and we go to our inspector, you should see a lot of parameters and settings that you can change by typing in numbers for this particular road. So let's say for this road, um, segment width, the lane width 3.5, that sounds pretty good. Uh, cool. It's left sidewalk width, which we can change a bit later, but we can change it now. The left sidewalk width should be around maybe 10 meters. Cool. And the right sidewalk width is 4.87. Uh, but we do need to align this a bit more to fit in so we can do that so let's go back to the edit street tools and let's just drag it out a bit more so it fits in there we go all right and we can readjust all of these um, at any time we want in order to make it fit in obviously this is not going to be a hundred percent accurate uh, but we can try to make it as accurate as we can as possible uh, all right, so back to this. So I'm just going to select the road again. And then if we scroll down, we can see a whole bunch of settings that we can use to customize and make the road look as realistic as possible. Uh, so road layout, we see lane distribution 0.5, which is basically um, shows tells you how much lanes are appearing on either side of the center line. And what is the distribution of that? Lane width, uh, let's change it to 3.5. As you can see, there has been a change on screen. Uh, the center line color should, let's make that white. And in New Zealand, the traffic direction is on the left hand side. The speed limit, uh, we can probably put that to around 20. Just for now, it's in miles per hour, but just for now, let's just put that. And so there's many more settings you can change. You can add crosswalks, but for this particular uh, se segment of road, there isn't any crosswalks. On street parking, there isn't many. Uh, so this is just a quick uh, walkthrough. It's not going to be 100% accurate based on real life for this particular segment of road. But let's just do a quick walkthrough of how you could particularly design, potentially design a piece of road like this. Okay, uh, center section. There isn't a center section. It's just a median strip. Uh, we don't have a center boulevard, but we do. So if you were to add uh, bus lanes, it would look like this. So bus lane, like so. But we don't have any bus lanes on this segment of road. You do have some up ahead. Uh, but we do have a bike lanes, which are a major part of this road. And so we want a bike lane on the right side. Okay, and so we can just, if you just click on the number, you can get the scroll wheel and you can just choose a particular number. So around, uh, it's a bi-directional bike lane. So uh, bike lanes in both directions. So around, around, around 3.5, I'm assuming. Um, 
and we can go one way, two ways. And we do have a buffer um, for the bike lane. So let's, let's zoom in a bit more so we can see a bit more better. So let's do the right buffer width. Something like that. Cool. And we can add some trees on the buffer itself. What trees? As you can see, there are trees appearing, oh, but they are quite close to each other, as you can see, but which that's all right. Uh, but we can change that by just scrolling down back again. Right, curve buffer with trees. Buffer object spacing. Yep, as you can see, the spacing is changing now. All right. We can also add bike boxes a bit later on. But let's first fix up our uh, our lane. So there's one, there's two lanes, one going in, uh, going forward, one going backwards. There's only, there's only two um, car lanes on this particular segment of Key Street. Let's, so let's try to add that in. Um, that, we, that can be done by uh, maybe perhaps reducing the width of this particular uh, piece of sidewalk. Maybe let's go back to 4.5 perhaps. And we can perhaps move it, shift it a bit to the right. So let's go back to this. Yep, that sounds that looks pretty good. Yes, as you can see, we have two lanes now. All right, and this this uh, sidewalk is quite wide. Now let's add in some more uh, some more elements onto our segment of road. Um, let's go on to the very bottom. So let's go reselect our main road, like so. Scroll down to the very bottom, and then we can also add in some. Um, vehicles onto the road. So for example, let's say it's quite busy. So there's a lot of cars on this particular road. There you go. Uh, mixed traffic bus. Buses won't usually appear on this stretch of road. So let's bring that to zero. So it's mainly on cars. Uh, obviously, we have bicycle lanes. Let's say it's a quite a busy day for bike cyclists. Cool. Just quickly as well, let's go and quickly just redesign one of these sidewalks. As you can see here, this is the sidewalk. And when we selected the road, came up with the road or segment. But let's select the sidewalk, scroll down, and we can see some options have popped up now. Sidewalk layout. Sidewalk plantings, let's add some plantings. Um, perhaps, let's just, so these are some pre-settings that uh, were, that came within the rule set. So let's just perhaps click on Bermuda. It might give us, see, there we go. So as you can see on the sidewalk, on the left hand sidewalk, there is now some trees. We can obviously change the spaces of the trees as I showed before. We can also add some components. We can also add maybe there's no any, there's no bus stops in this particular segment, but if there was, should be appearing. 
but yeah, as you can see, this is how the, uh, the street looks like now with all the 3D elements. So you can see uh, the, the cyclists are there on that side and the trees have appeared as well. And it looks, it gives you a pretty good visualization of how the street could look like. And you can obviously zoom in, zoom out and take screenshots and photos uh, for your projects. All right. Um, Let's keep on scrolling to see what else we can fit in. So we can have benches, both. I think we have we may have to select this sidewalk as well. Or we can select the whole thing actually. Let's select the whole segment, the whole whole segment. Hopefully we could, oh yes, let's so go to this, yes. Sidewalk components, sidewalk plantings, Bermuda, yep, there's also trees on the other side now. Yeah, but there's lots of um, customization to these, especially within this complete street, streets segment, uh, rule set, sorry. Uh, parking meters, just seeing if they will appear. Yes, so we we do have a we do have benches now and we do have parking meters, even though there aren't parking meters in real life. So let's turn those off. But as you can see, the, the, um, the benches have now appeared. Let's also add some people into the mix. So let's just do that. Hopefully people should start appearing. Yes, as you can see, people are start appearing now. So just clicking out and so you can see people have started to appear on the sidewalks. All right, so that's basically it, it's a quick simple walkthrough of how to put, uh, design a street and you can obviously go ahead and design um, as many streets as you want and make them more consistent for your projects all right thank you that was davis from drh thank you so much